Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our groups on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about Tim Moose. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And we give you praise because you've been so good to us. We ask you to open up our ears to hear our spirit to receive the word of God. Release salvation, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, and miracles. We ask you to release fresh revelation, confirmation of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Tim Moose. Tim Moose is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel. The prophet describes a vision. He had saying, the Lord brought me into the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord. And I saw women sitting there mourning the God, the God Tammuz. God called the idolatrous practice of weeping for Tammuz a detestable thing, made even worse in that it was happening at the temple in Jerusalem. Tammuz, the Demigod appeared, began a Sumerian shepherd named Dumana, Dum Urid, or Dumanai. His father was the ancient Mesopotamian god. E Urkai, also known as the Akkadian Babylonian EA, who served, saved the family of Utamazimrum, Noah, from the flood of the, in the epic of Gal Gershnesh. And his mother was the sheep of goddess Ditch Tour in the early Sumerian Sumerian culture. Donarid Tammuz was the god of the sheep, lambs, and sheep milk. A pastoral deity that don't mean nothing about pastoralship okay in the later Arcadian mythos he was the god of agriculture Tammuz was known as the god as the good and young one and his beauty caught the attention of Iana known to the Arcadian Arcadians as Esther, who took from her took him for her cohort. At some point, they had a falling out. The most common story is that Esther traveled to the neither world to take the throne of her sister. Ear is. Donald Gal for her her herus Esther was condemned by the um Amenitkaiki judges of the underworld and sentenced to be killed and her corpse hanged from a nail and hook when Ayana Esther was dead. Sexual relations ceased to the entire universe. Irke or Ea allowed her to be re resurrected, but she had to find another soul to put her to take place. She scorned the world looking for someone who has to mourn for her death eventually. She found her husband, Dumrid, 
Tammuz dressed in rich clothing and sitting on her throne in, re in retaliation for his lack of devotion. Istar sent her demons on Tammuz. He hid in the in his home of his sister Gushahana, but her demons eventually, but the demons eventually caught up with him and drug him into the Neville world. Eventually, Estar regretted her extreme measures, and the gods composed by having Tamras or Demrit and her and his sister alternate in the times in the underworld. Another version says that Estar went to the underworld to rescue Demrit or Tamaras after he was killed by the underworld writers. The story of Ayana and Demerit speaks beyond the Samarine and Akkadian empires to other cultures. In Egypt, Tam Tamaras related to Oris Oris married to the faithful Isis or Is was killed by his brother, set on for his throne. Accounts vary, but somehow is Isis or Is brought Oris back to life in the time of to seize Horus before he was killed again. In appreciation for all right. Isis or is devotion. The gods made Oris the leader of the underworld, now whom ties ebbs and flows, bringing life and death and agriculture with its cycle, Dumaras and restoration. In Greece, Esther and Chamra seem to have inspired the story of Aphrodite and and the Doris Aphrodite gave the infant a Doris to her sister for her son per son to protect the underworld per son fell for the beauty of the child as well and her the sister's fault Zeus finally intervened, declaring Adonis had to stay four months with Poseidon, four months with Aphrodite, and four months wherever, wherever he pleased. Sometimes later, Adonis was killed by a boar, meaning a Pig. Zeus honored Aphrodite by mourning for, by mourning, allowing him to remain above ground for half a year. Where they were taking, talking about Dimrod, Dimrod, Tammuz, Horus, or Adonis. The theme of death and resurrection runs through the mythology. Because of this and his early identification as a shepherd, Tamaris is in all forms known as the god of fertility in agriculture. During the Samorian feast of Tamaris, the king took on Tamaris' identity and made it with a priestess. This act was to say, to ensure the fertility of crops and animals for the year. Timur's retreat to the underworld generally say to occasion to the summer solstice where the weather turns hot and dry, brings the end of fertility of plants, animals, and humans. He returns to mark the resurrection of plenty. Later observances of Timur's Adonis rituals were somewhat unique in the were performed primarily by women and while when while worship 
may have, may have included celebrations of Tamaris. Excuse return. The morning of his death was emphasized more. The women tears recall the supposed tears of Esther and that brings Tamaris back. This is what the women in the east, I mean in the gate of the temple were doing. It is easy to see why the Lord referred to the pagan observance as an abomination. A vow of fertility God uh, was being honored in the very place the one true God had sacrificed for himself. Less well documented legends of further money the identi identity of cameras uh, some summary uh, king list mentioned two kings named Timur Timur the fifth the first of the fifth kings before the flood a shepherd who reigned for thir 36,000 years the second king on the list is a fisherman who reigned for a hundred years around 2700 BC immediately left Gir Gilgash near oh other legends say that Timurus was the son of Nimrod father of both Babel and Nineveh but since Nimrod is thought to be Gir Galgish Alter ego, it's impossible to say which was the origin of the legend. Some critics claim the, that the legend of Dimrit, Timurus, Oris, and Adonis served as the inspiration of, of the legends of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The difference are too many to take the claim. Series. Tamaris Adonis Oris was rescued from the underworld by a faithful lover. Jesus raised was raised from the dead by himself in conjunction with God. Tamaris Adonis died once a year. Jesus died only once. Oris died for once forever. Jesus rose once forever. Tamaris and Oris died and were birth brought life to agriculture. Jesus Jesus' death and resurrection brings life to our souls. The cult of Tamarus promised rich provision in the form of great grain and sheep. But it's only Jesus who gives life and gives it to the full. It is said that Tamarus Timus was the sh a shepherd, but only Christ the good shepherd willing lay down his life for his sheep. Whether modern day idols are were chased in the desire to have plenty, it is only God who can provide what we need. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer with a meaning. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and God himself has risen from the dead. I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and I raise all the quarters of hell. Get your Bible started reading the book of Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live and Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. I want us to pray against this, this, this God. And I know that it's representing agriculture and sheep, but Jesus is the main shepherd. And we know that in this timing, some people get mixed up. Let's pray. 
We, Lord, we come to you right now. I ask you to forgive us of all sins, creating us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us. We ask you, Heavenly Father, remove this, remove this, uh, this Tammuz, uh, our God, away, and God, let us be able to thank you for the agriculture and the sheep because you are the main shepherd you are the great one remove it we ask you lord help us to understand that you are the one that provides for us that we will not weep over anybody else that we will rejoice we with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice i praise you lord i thank you for all things and i'm asking you god that you will remove the spirit of Esther away in out of the earth that we might not have nothing to do with any of that in any of the cultures we know that the story is written we can't erase the past but we have to go forward help us to adore you and you only and we ask this in Jesus name Amen You've been, if you have been idolizing those spirits you need to stop and ask God to give you, to forgive you and give you His Spirit. And receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching Eagles Healing Home Broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagle Selling Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sell your seat by cash app at dollar sign Blondie Badger. And that's the B L O N D I E B A D G E R. Or you can mail a check or money order, make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagle Selling Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry Facebook pages. To get the address to mail your seat, your offerings will go to further the kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive. And remember, there is hope. Be blessed.